Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, first off, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Um, and if you're subscribed, welcome back. Um, and leave a comment down below and like it please. Um, I, this this is going to be something different. I know it's like a haul that, I'm, that I just did today. And then I got an Ipsy bag that I'm going to tell you about. And then the Sephora one. I don't want to show you the other side, so. Um, but anyways, would you like to see? Here it is. So for the Ipsy bag, I got a few little goodies to show you. So the first is, so I love the cute bag, it's amazing. So here is M Princess in the shade Pretty Petal. It is, um, a press uh, eyeshadow powder. Here, I'll open it for you. This is what the packaging looks like. And then they have a seal inside of the thing. Just, I want to open it so you can see. I opened it, but I didn't really uh, check everything out in detail. Oh my brother. Okay. Here, let me get my phone so I can show you what it is. Alright, so I got everything on my phone. It's a loose eyeshadow in pretty petal. Uh, this loose this loose pigment shadow builds and blends e really easily, so you can go for a low key or a hamped up eye look depending on your mood. It's so fun to experiment with and plays well with your other shadows. We love the dusty rose shade, which makes all eyeshadow colors really pop. So, I'm going to try to put it in here and try to swatch it on my hand. So this is what it looks like. It's really good. I like it. it. Has that glow effect to it. You can put that all on your face. So, that seems pretty. So I would definitely try this out. Next one I got in the bag is the Elizabeth Mott um, Thank Me Later Face Primer. It's supposed to, it's supposed to mattifying, which I like the mattifying. It says long day. We uh, we feel you. Smooth this baby onto the morning and you're set. It lasts through the day, night, and pretty much anything. It's still a lightweight formula, and I like lightweight, so it's pretty shouldn't be much of anything. Ooh. It is smooth when you put it on, because I've felt my hand before. 
I don't think you can see it, but it's pretty smooth. It doesn't smell much of anything, which is good. And it's also supposed to shut down shine and helps minimize the appearance of fine lines and pores. It's like a real life Instagram filter. Nice. I like it. It's waterproof, so there's no chance of your makeup sliding off. Uh, if you get caught in the rain, this is cruelty free. So I like things that are cruelty free because I like things we go on animals. So makeup brands, make sure you do it on yourself, not animals. Because they're doing it for people, do it on yourself. Like do it on hands. Uh -oh. this sea salt, sea salt. Um, it says wild honey apple the curry. Think I'm saying it right? Sea salt scrub mask. And they sent me two of them. Super fine sea sugar. It says not for sale. It says blending packets with one. A teaspoon of water, gently massage with face, and let rest 15 minutes, rinse and pat dry. So this is super fine sea salt, gently exfoliates your skin without drying it out. Lemon and uh, essential oil acts as a natural antiseptic Ooh. that helps to unclog pores, killing bacteria, and treats blackheads while firming up the skin. Okay. I like it. And then the biodynamic honey, harvesting uh, without chemicals or pesticides, moisturize, soothes, and helps brighten skin while fighting blemishes. Remember I showed you before, blemish. Um, and then it's 100% natural ingredients, so good for you. Um, and it's an indie skincare brand so I like trying different things out and I'll tell you about that if you want me to try it milk makeup in boom which is in this package milk I haven't tried any of the milk brands I always want to try it so this mascara this uh it's a Kush mascara it's a high volume puff a brush and a naturally lift. So this is what the packaging looks like. And on the inside. Two words, lash and love. Uh, this conditioning formula is infused with hemp uh, driving uh, cannabis oil to make your lashes long, lush, curly, and fluttery. No lash left behind. This innovative brush has bristles that crisscross so it evenly coats your lashes with mascara. It's also tapered at the ends to reach every last blush. The heart shape Fibers, cute, right? Locked only your lashes so you can enjoy a uh, flake-free and smudge-free day. The babies at Milk Makeup know what's up. Uh, and this is also cruelty I can't even say it. But it's a uh, cruelty free and vegan. So, well, I didn't say that there was any like heart. But, so there's, there's the mascara. And then the last but not least, I got this tapered, um, tapered blending I for, uh, 140. It's from 
Lux Beauty. Luxie Beauty. It's Wonder Woman. My favorite superhero, by the way. Wonder Woman Detail Taper Blending Brush. And it has our logo up there. And down there. Which is amazing. The top, it's so amazing. I just have a feel on my face. But yeah, that's for Ipsy. I'm going to put this back so I'm not able. So, there's Ipsy. Next is from Sephora. So what you get in the box is dog hair. Is um, a fifty point, a fifty point um, beauty insider point that you can shop online, and then you get everything that is inside of the bag. This bag. So what you get. First I'm pulling out is an hourglass. I think it's a little this is the flashback to the future, the Mark Jacobs Beauty Shameless Foundation in the shade 10 Y420. I'm gonna see one of my coworkers like it, but I think it's a little bit too dark for me on my skin. This is what the bottle looks like. And I'll show you how dark it is. Yeah. That's not going to work on my face. Um, so I'm going to see if one of my coworkers would want it. Because that is so... But I'll let them try it. So there's that, and that is supposed to be a long wear medium coverage foundation that contains visible undetectable SPF. Um, the innovative foundation protects skin with SPF in the pigment so that's no flashback in photos plus the weightless oil free formula is, deal, is ideal for building coverage and blending. So, and the SPF is 25. So, and then this one I got in there, Tom Ford Black Orchard. Um, it's a dark uh, acc accords and a mix of Black Orchards and Spice make this rich, sensual fragrance both modern and timeless. So, it's swirly. Top notes are black truffle and fresh pergament. And middle notes are orchard and lotus. And base notes are sand, sandalwood and bacholi. I think that's what it is. Oh. Smells good, but that's what it has in this little bottle. It smells good. I would try it. So there's that one. Next, we have. This is the um, Boskia Cactus Water. Moisturizer. And then this is what it looks like inside. This smells fresh. It says lightweight um, moisturizer formula with queen of the night cactus for soft, supple skin. 
and this is why it's trending, it says the fast absorbing solution is formalized with queen of the night cactus to hydrate, nurture, and revive skin. Plus, the peptide complex repairs damage due to dehydration and visibly improves skin tone and elasticity. So, this is what it looks like. Sorry. So there's that. So that's what, what like these came in here. It's pretty cool. All right. This one is the nude stick. It's kind of, I wish they could do it like a little bit more of a different color. To, so people can see. But to me, you have to like. Um, it says a tense, intense matte lip plus cheek pencil and kiss. So you can use it as a lip product and a cheek product. So I don't know if I can actually do it on my skin. Ooh. Ooh, that is pretty. All right, I like that. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Is a shade kiss. Oh, it's a, so it's a dual purpose matte lip color pencil in a rosy hue that works for lips and cheeks. This pencil fits perfectly into a hybrid beauty trend. It can be used as a lipstick, lip liner, or blush. Fast up to six hours without even feathering or drying out. Oh, I'm going to be at work for Fright Fest. So hopefully this stays on for the eight hours that I work. If not. And then I got a little small sample of the Peter Thomas Ruth Roth. Uh, it's a Hungarian thermal water mineral rich atomic heat mask. So what it does is that you put it on your skin um, and it's a, and when you put water on it, it heats up like automatically. Uh, so what do you use it? How do you use this? Is apply a quarter size amount of cleansing to cleanse, uh, to cleanse dry skin. Then let it sit to three minutes. So it is a mask. And then when you put water on it, and wet fingers and massage it to activate the flash of heat and then rinse it off. Um, it's supposed to water hydrate skin uh, and infuse it with uh, vital nutrients to visible reduce the look of fine lines, wrinkles, dullness, and uneven skin tone. So I'm going to up there in H. So, I don't, you don't see a lot of wrinkles, but the uneven skin and like the dullness, that's what I need. And then I'm excited for this. And this is another face primer that I got, but the other one was for um, the Ipsy bag. And it was the um, Elizabeth one. This one's Hangover by Toothpaste. Um, the re uh, Hangover Replenish Face Primer. A replenished primer that hydrates skin and creates a perfect canvas for makeup. And I see a lot of uh, YouTubers say that they like this. Um, I think they like the spray too. Um, beauty. Uh, beauty hangovers are not matched for this 
a revolutionary primer that uh, infused with coconut water and other energizing ingredients. Skin looks um, refreshed, dewy, and makeup ready. So, I always want to be makeup ready, and I think it'd be to stay on and stay put. So, I haven't tried this primer. I tried the spray. So, hopefully this is good for me, my skin. So, that's for the Play Sephora bag. And now, on my beauty haul. So what I got in Sephora, not Sephora, Ulta. Um, I haven't tried these out. It's the, uh, you get two of these. It's the body survey. I got watermelon, pineapple, buttercream, and pina colada. So, this is what it looks like in, inside. So, supposed to indulge in this guilty free body sorbet made with vitamin C, uh, shea butter, and jojoba oil. It's so much more than just a creamy treat for your skin. So, it's basically like a lotion, and it's by Ulta Beauty, which is nice. And then I'll show you the other ones, but I have the top box. And then I got this Slake Away Shea Butter Sugar and Peach uh, Seed Powder Spa Body Polish by Up and Glory. See? Smells good. So there's. Let me wash my hands real quick. All right, I'm back. So this soft smells good. It's better than this hand. This like regular scrubs as always is. So there's those two. Have little tubs. So it can be much easier to do this. Alright. So next, this is from the Beauty 21 Days of Beauty. Well, that was 20. 22 Days of Beauty, but we're on the 21. I got the Clinic Clinique um, Moisture Surge. 72 hours auto replenish. I was out before, but now this is like nine dollars and something, I think. But yeah, I love this. It only has like a hint of a smell to it, but not that much. I love it. Allergy testing, it's good. Fragrant free, yes. Use under or over makeup or as a five minute mask. So there's a purpose for all those. I didn't know what you do for a five minute mask, so I'll try it later when I get home. 
at 10 o'clock at night. Oh, if you guys don't know, uh, Six Flags is having their Fright Fest today. Um, and it starts today and it ends the week before uh, the first week of November. So you guys should check it out. So this one's, they have a new packaging by L'Oreal. It's a lipstick. You get, buy one, you get the other one 50% off. I got one in 985 that is Darling Blush. And this is what it looks like. Beautiful color. I like it. it smells like pretty much a lipstick. And then this one is a shade of 976, the power power pedal. This one's I think it's a little bit yeah, a little bit darker. They're both mauve. I like so this one right here is the color. And here, let me try to get to Ulta real quick. I was like, um, no. Okay, so it's a color rich ultra matte nude lipstick. Um, I just got, they didn't really have it on here, but it says, Find your perfect nude lipstick shade with the intense hydration and a super matte finish. Um, the lipstick is a high, highly pigmented collection created with lip tone nude shade to enhance your natural hue. Um, the end result is your rich nude lips must uh, butt better. Uh, it's formulated with silky oils providing intense hydration for all day comfort and wear while feeling light on the lips. A luxurious lipstick formulated with a high infusing, high diffusing gel that brings a soft focus effect on the lips, making lips appear smooth and matte without a dry look from warm pink shades to skin flattering nudes so those are the two that i think are going to look good on my lips so those are that those are that that's that there you go those are that wet and then here is a lip scrub that's watermelon lip scrub by fizz and bubble It is a powder, so you just have to get it and then just put it on your lips. I love watermelon. Give me a product that has watermelon in it. I'll take it. Not literally, you know what I mean. And then I got my Adele Professional Wispies. I'm not worried. I'm, this is my natural lashes. I was born with them. Um, so, you guys know the beauty community, no Adele, and their lashes, so, I think these are going to be amazing on my eyes and not going to be too heavy, hopefully. So, you know how, and then here's another product, hopefully, people get it as soon as possible, because, you know, it is retiring, um, I guess it's twenty seven dollars instead of thirty eight. The Urban Decay Naked One palette. I have the Heat palette. Hi. <laughs> um, the Heat palette. I have the Distortion palette. I have 
the metallic palette. Um, but yeah, I had to get the original because it's about to go, about to retire. It's been out for a while. Um, so I love the packaging. It's so silky. So I can't wait to do it. If you want me to do a tour on this one for a, you know, a goodbye to the Urban Decay uh, one palette, just let me know. And then, oh, right here. Um, this one was already, this one was on the, um, the, the 20 days of, 22 days of beauty, the poor professional high benefit. Um, what can I say? It's a primer it's supposed to minimize the pores like here, 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 like, you know, all over your cheeks and stuff where you need to minimize your pores for primer. Um, it's supposed to smoothing face primer to m minimize the look of pores, base or tint. Uh, and that's like on. Yeah, it's supposed to minimize pores, the look of pores. So, yeah. So there's that. I don't have a Jack and Hill palette. Jack Jacqueline Hill palette. I have Shannon XO palette. I have. Um, I have somebody else's. I want to support the YouTubers out there. So, I have the dark, dark magic palette. So there's that. I kind of like this one. That one and that one. I would like to do a little thing on that. It's, um, this one has a little bit of dark green inside job. And then the trickery. And probably have something to do with this in it. The potion. I like the, this is poof. Bar cut. So here is, I'm going to do like a little, ooh, that's, that feels soft. So, here are the first four up top. So there is, that's trickery. That is, this is the power cut. Ooh, that's nice. I like that one. And this is poof. It's a little tan, new color. And then I'll put this one as a dir diversion. I'll put that over there because that's close to that color. That's diversion or diversion. There you go. So I did the top. So what I swatched is the top rose. Now I'm going to do the bottom. I'm going to do potion, busted, inside job, and mojo. So this one is, so I'll do the potion first. And then I'm going to do Weston. Ooh, that's pretty. That one, that one, and that one's pretty. And then Inside Job. Ooh, that's pretty. And then Mojo. Amazing. They're pigmented, which is nice. And then Temptress. Temptress? 
And then this is Temptress. Ooh, that's pretty. So that's the Jaclyn Hill palette. They are smooth, pigmented. Um, if you want me to do a um, tutorial on the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, I, that's Dark Horse. They have a couple more out. So there's that one. All right, I'm blowing on the screen because there's my dog's hair on it. My life. And then the ones that I told you about. This one is Creamy Cocolado. Coco Cocolada. That's coconut. Sorry, I thought it was. And then Pineapple. This is buttercream cupcake. They smell good. So that is that. So if you want me to do a tutorial on any of the Urban Decay, um, the Morphe palette, um, any of the stuff that you saw in my um, Ipsy bag or my Sephora, um, let me know and I'll gladly do a tutorial on it. All right. Give it a thumbs up, um, thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you next video. See ya!